Firefighters in Kentucky's largest city rescued a construction worker on a demolition team who fell into a void Thursday and became trapped in rubble, requiring a tedious, hours-long operation to dig him out. The rescue was shown live on local Louisville television stations hours after the worker fell into a hole and debris fell on top of him around noon. Paramedics were on hand to place the worker onto a stretcher, cover him with a blanket and transport him to an ambulance. One rescue worker patted the worker on the back as he was being hoisted out. Louisville Fire Chief Brian O'Neill said the worker was conscious and alert when he was rescued after being completely buried 10 to 12 feet below ground. He said the worker hadn't been able to move but was able to communicate in Spanish with multilingual members of the team. He was in a lot of pain, O'Neill said. This is a pretty severe accident. The worker was taken to the University of Louisville Hospital, where his injuries were being assessed. Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg called it an incredibly difficult trench rescue and said he had met with the victim's mother to update her on his condition. The family was waiting to see the man at the hospital Thursday night. A hospital spokesperson did not respond immediately to an email query about the worker's condition. The man had been part of a demolition team working at the site and fell into what the fire chief described as a void space. Five other workers were with him at the site of a former corrections building that is being demolished to make way for a medical campus. The rescue team, specialized in trench rescue and confined space rescue, arrived within minutes, O'Neill said. He got very fortunate that he had a little bit of a void space around him, O'Neill said so he was able to breathe. The fire chief said the worker was buried and pinned in place by gravel, dirt and large chunks of concrete, which required the rescue team to dig him out by hand. Well, Louisville, we are fortunate to have the hardworking, amazing men and women of the Louisville Fire Department. They have once again given us tremendous, heroic work and saved the life of an individual who was in grave jeopardy all day today. Uh, a construction worker that was part of a demolition team working on this site back here uh, fell into a void space and when they fell down basically a floor gave way beneath them So that collapsed they fell down into an area and then all kinds of rubble and dirt and rock Completely buried this individual. They were uh, they were not just like kind of stuck. They were completely buried uh, Our firefighters responded uh, immediately. We had people on the scene uh, within about three minutes They set up right away for this is part trench rescue. This is part confined space rescue uh, to get in there. Uh, they were able to talk to him. He got very fortunate that he had a little bit of a void space around him, uh, so he was able to breathe, uh, but they started digging him out. Now, if you can think about what this involves, this is gravel, this is dirt, these are large chunks of concrete. Uh, so you're talking tons and tons of material that has this person buried and pinned, and we're having to slowly dig it out by hand. Because every time you move some small bit, you have more stuff that's falling in. Think about a person at the base of a funnel, and that funnel just keeps pouring things down onto them. 
he, he was talking. Uh, there were injuries, uh, and that'll be assessed uh, at the University of Louisville. But he was conscious. He was alert. He was oriented. He knew what was going on. Uh, he was able to talk through with us. Uh, but, yeah, he was in a lot of pain. This was, uh, this was a pretty severe accident. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky spoke about the country's anti-missile and air defense systems in a daily video address from Kyiv on Wednesday. We are now working to further increase supplies from our partners, both missiles and defense systems, as well as everything we need to strengthen our mobile fire groups, Zelensky said. He also said German Chancellor Olaf Scholz had been assisting Ukraine, specifically with air defense systems. Zelensky made those comments after Russia attacked the Ukrainian capital Kyiv with a sophisticated combination of missiles and drones for the first time in 73 days on Wednesday. That came a day after the Pentagon said most of the North Korean troops sent to help Moscow's war effort are fighting to drive Ukraine's army off Russian soil in the Kursk border region. Ukraine is also straining to hold back a months-long Russian onslaught in the eastern Donetsk region. Україна вдячна усім нашим партнерам, які допомагають проти ракетами і системами захисту неба. Зараз працюємо, щоб додатково збільшити постачання від партнерів і по ракетах, і по комплексам захисту, і по всьому, що необхідно для посилення наших мобільних вогневих груп. Стратегічна мета – досягти такого практичного рівня співпраці з партнерами, щоб ми – Тут, в Україні, могли виробляти необхідні для нас системи протиповітряної оборони і проти ракет. Говорив сьогодні з канцлером Німеччини Оловом Шольцем. Німеччина – лідер в підтримці саме ППО. І ми обговорили зараз постачання ще однієї системи АРСД і роботу в подальшому над розвитком повітряного щита. Також обговорили формат Рамштайну, співпраця, яка принесла багато користі Україні та всім партнерам. Це наша спільна сила. І також обговорили підготовку зустрічі групи 20 в Бразилії вже наступного тижня. Домовляємось з партнерами, щоб позиція України була представлена у всіх відповідних дискусіях. Тільки разом світ здатен гарантувати справді надійний мир, і тривалий спокій для міжнародних відносин.